hi guys welcome to the software testing help today in this video we will see that how can we run selenium web driver in IE that is internet explorer and chrome browsers so running test on google chrome using web driver so generally if we want normally to run our test cases in firefox we just need a Fi mozilla firefox browser installed in our machine and selenium server jar file that is we did not need to download any external exe file or jar file to run specially firefox browser but this doesn't happen in the case of ie browser and chrome browser so then the next question come to our mind is that how can we run selenium web driver in other browsers like chrome and ie so selenium support to run web driver in other browsers by just adding an exe path of the driver server for the individual browsers means we will have to tell the web driver just that pick the path of the browser from here pick the path of the exe uh, pick the path of the exe from a particular location where you have crept your chrome driver and ie driver now to run the selenium web driver in chrome browser we need to take the help of chrome driver which is a separate executable that selenium web driver uses to control chrome so there is a special web driver chrome driver that we will be using to control our google chrome browser okay so it says now to run on selenium web driver and chrome browser we need to take help of chrome driver which is a separate executable so it's an executable file that we will use to interact with selenium web driver now running test on google chrome using windows while automating our web application using web driver we often face problems in executing our test cases on google chrome whenever we try to use web driver object for executing our cases on chrome we most probably get the following error so if you're trying to uh, work with a chrome browser and you do not have uh, installed your chrome driver in your machine then certainly it will give an error that the path of the chrome driver executable must be set by the web driver dot chrome dot driver system property for more information see this path okay so ultimately this information or this other message is telling you that there is some issue in the settings that the system property is not getting the path of the web driver chrome that where that chrome executable file is available so if you look into this location this is the location that tells you that how you can work with the google chrome driver okay so if you want to work with the google chrome you will have to download an executable file from this path that is chrome driver dot storage google apis dot com so the latest version can be downloaded from here whenever you want to work with the latest chrome uh, chrome browser it's better that you make sure that first of all you visit to this link and you download the latest uh, chrome driver for your machine if you're working in linux then if you're working in mac if you're working in windows every uh, every os has a different different uh, uh, zip file so you have to download according to your os so the solution to this error has been mentioned in the given url that is this is to set the chrome driver path to the variable web driver dot chrome driver but how exactly to set the path and use it for test execution is not given there so the the methodology has been given here but uh, if you look into that the no proper explanation has been given so i'm going to share that how we can integrate a chrome driver and chrome browser for automating with selenium so first of all this is the snippet or this is the sample uh, code that you will use whenever you want to work with the chrome driver so first of all you will set the system property web driver dot chrome driver using system dot set property in your code and then try to execute your cases on chrome i will show you with an example but this is the main code that uh, you will have to like uh, write whenever you want to run on chrome or in ie so for chrome there is a separate 
property a separate path you will have to set system dot set property web driver dot chrome driver dot driver and you have to mention path to the chrome driver where you have downloaded the chrome driver so once you will download the chrome driver you will have to mention that which is the path from where selenium web driver has to pick the chrome driver after that you simply have to create a new object web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver okay so let's look into the sample program so this is the sample program that will help you in automating the task of your selenium script in a chrome browser so i'm showing you with an example i have a sample program written first of all what you will have to do you will have to first of all download this i am using my windows machine so i have downloaded this and i have placed it in my eclipse folder you can see here chrome driver underscore win32 drop zip after unzipping it i am getting an exe file by the name chrome driver dot exe so this is the special exe file that is getting provided by which our selenium is interacting with the chrome so this file is mandatory okay so i will simply write a sample program this is the sample program in web driver i will first of all create a new class uh, i have for example i have created a class by the name chrome in the main method i will type that i have got one file i have given the file name as chrome driver the new file you have to mention the path of that file where your chrome driver is located in my in my pc the chrome driver is located in this location so i have simply copied this path and placed it in this location and the second step that i told you from the ppt is system dot set property that is you have to tell that what is the value of this variable okay so i have written chrome driver that is this got absolute path so the absolute path of this particular variable or file will be stored here and after that this variable will get the value of this particular location that this is the location of your chrome driver now this variable know that where your chrome driver is located after that you will write simply your uh, uh, like a normal program you write in your firefox driver here we are using chrome driver so we will specifically write that web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver and you will have to write the path of your uh, website so if i try to execute this program now it will be called in my uh, chrome browser so let's first of all try to see that what is the output now you can see that software testing help.org has been successfully opened in a chrome browser using web driver okay so this is how you integrate your test cases specifically if you want to run your test cases in chrome browser so similarly we can integrate our test cases for ie browser also let's see how can this be done so how to run web driver in ie browser to run selenium web driver in ie browser we need internal explorer driver which is standalone server which implements web driver wire protocol so the approach uh, the approach is going to be very much similar to run the test cases in ie driver we need to download the latest version of ie driver server from web driver you can download the latest version uh, server from this location so if we go to this location this is a particular location from where you can download the ie driver okay so you can see that it's saying that i driver windows 32 i driver 64 bit so you can choose according to your uh, bit level of the version or the architectural style of the windows you are using so i have already downloaded this and you can see here i have already downloaded in my eclipse folder i driver server 64 after extracting that i have got an exe file i driver server.exe so this is the exe file i driver server file that is going to help me in executing the test cases by launching my i browser okay so this is a very important step that you have to download a file from here 
it says note you should choose the i driver server based on your working environment as there are two different zip files for both 32 and 64 bit if you're working on windows 32 bit please select and click on this windows 32 zip file after that you will have to unzip it and uh, just like you will write it the program in uh, for chrome you have to write a similar program for i browser as well okay so let's go to the eclipse and see how it works so this is my IE program you can see here just a second you can see here this class is for IE program I have written file IE driver new file the path of the IE driver server or exe and here the variable name will get changed now it is talking about web driver dot IE dot driver okay so now we are setting the system property as webdriver.ie.driver and iDriver.get absolute path is getting the path from this location. So this is the location of IE driver server. So this will help us in invoking the IE browser. So similarly, what we used to do in Firefox driver, we used to make an object uh, that web driver driver is equal to new internet explorer driver. So so I am clicking on uh, control F11 to execute this program and this will be calling software he testing help.org. Now you can see that it has successfully opened the website software testing help.org. So this is how it works in IE browser. So this is successfully running in IE browser. So this is how you people uh, automate the task in your IE browser. The, the approach is very much similar. It is like that you need the two specific drivers that is Chrome driver and IE driver installed in your machine. Uh, means uh, you should have the these two Chrome driver.exe and IE driver server.exe with you. And you simply have to mention the path of these. And after that you have to call uh, Internet Explorer driver and you can call any other website okay so that was about running your selenium web driver scripts in ie browser and chrome browser so thank you for watching this video i hope you people like this video for more interesting videos related to software testing keep watching software testing help.org thank you